Ask My Instructor 3.3.37. A population function is given by p of t equals 500t divided by t plus 1, where p represents people and t is measured in years. Compute the growth rate of the population. Since our function is a quotient, we will need to use the quotient rule. The quotient rule, simply stated, is the derivative of a quotient is the derivative of the first times the second minus the first times the derivative of the second all over the second squared. Using the quotient rule for p, we need to set up the derivative. Once we set up the derivative, it looks like this. The derivative of the first times the second minus the first times the derivative of the second all over the second squared. Find the derivatives of 500t and t plus 1. The derivative of 500t is just 500. The derivative of t plus 1 is just 1. Knowing that, we can now simplify our expression. Instead of the derivative of 500t, we'll just have 500. And instead of the derivative of t plus 1, we'll just have 1. After we have done that, then we use a little bit of algebra to simplify. And we get 500 divided by t plus 1. Now in the next slide, you will see that I've taken that t plus 1 and I've gone ahead and done the squaring. So t plus 1 squared, I will get t squared plus 2t plus 1. So if a population is given by p equals 500t divided by t plus 1, the growth rate of the function is p prime equals 500 divided by t squared plus 2t plus 1. And that, the units in that is people per year. At what time is the instantaneous growth rate the greatest? The growth rate function, p prime, decreases as t increases. So the greatest growth rate would be at the beginning. And at t equals 0, the growth rate is 500 people per year. Find the limit as t goes to infinity of p prime and interpret the results. We notice that for p prime, the degree of the denominator is greater than the degree of the numerator. This tells us that p prime has a horizontal asymptote of y equals 0. And so the limit of p prime as t increases will be 0. Since the limit as t goes to infinity of p prime is equal to 0, we know that the growth rate becomes 0 and the population will have a steady state. That is, the population approaches a constant value for large values of t. Let's find the steady state of the population. To compute the steady state of the population, we're just finding the limit of p as t goes to infinity. We notice that for p, the degree of the denominator is equal to the degree of the numerator. And so, this tells us that p has a horizontal asymptote of y equals 500 over 1. 500 is the coefficient of the linear term in the numerator, and 1 is the coefficient of the linear term in the denominator. So I have linear over linear function, and I just take the ratio of the coefficients, 500 over 1. And so the limit as t goes to infinity of 
the population, the limit will be 500, and that is our steady state. We can see the graph of this. Um, it, it really helps to see what's going on. So if you look at the graph of the population function, you can see that the population is getting closer and closer to a value of 500, but it will never actually reach 500. Also, P prime, you can see that the instantaneous growth rate of the function decreases as T increases, so that the growth rate gets closer and closer to a value of zero. Take care and have a great day.